For this problem, we're going to take this system of equations and determine if there is a unique solution, and if so, we're going to find it. Um, so with a system of equations, the possibilities we have is either there's a unique solution, uh, there's no solution, or there are infinitely many solutions. Uh, and we solve it just by subtracting multiples of each equation from each other. Um, so this is 3x1 plus 2x2 equals 9, and x1 minus x2 equals 8. So I can take the second equation and multiply it by 2. That way the 2x2 will have a 2x2 in the bottom as well, and then we can add these two equations together. So I'm going to rewrite equation 1. and multiply this whole equation by 2. Now I can add these two equations together, and we'll be able to solve for x1. So 3x1 plus 2x1 equals 5x1. 2x2 minus 2x2 is 0, and 9 plus 16 is 25. So now we have 5x1 equals 25, divide by 5, and we get x1 equals 5. Now that we have one solution, we can plug it back in, um, let's say, to this equation, and we'll get x2. So x1 equals 5, 5 minus x2. 8. And that gives us x2 equals minus 3, because 5 minus negative 3 is 8. Um, so this uh, system does indeed have a unique solution, and it's here x1 equals 5, and x2 equals minus 3.